It began large here and uh, everybody tells us that's great barbecue in Dallas. We'll give it a shot here. I'm here with the CEO of KCBS Heath Hall and uh, we're gonna give you a shot. See this one's any good or not? Let's do it. Okay. Food. We can skip the skip line. The, so you gotta order five pounds of food to skip the line? Just skip the line, yeah. yeah. Smells good. <laughs> I'm gonna double up on the, on the brisket. Your call, your call, man. I'm okay. So once we get some burn ends, Oh, you, you guys have get some burn in. Come on. If you want to do brisket, we do it, do it brisket right here. You know my wife. Alright, after cooking barbecue for the whole day, Heath Hall, CEO of KCBS and I. Well, where do we end up? We end up Pecan Grove and uh, we're about to uh, enjoy some barbecue after cooking barbecue the entire day. Which uh, absolutely makes no sense. Pecan Grove is uh, recommended to us as the best I'm just barbecue glad that joint. We weren't doing bolo cooking bologna all day. Came to eat bologna. That's right. There you go. Come and, watch uh, here, baby. This, this is good. a beautiful restaurant. And we have a lot of food here. So, what did you order? We have uh, mac and cheese, some uh, Texas style pickles, beautiful Texas brisket, pork rib, pulled pork. And that's a uh, jalapeno sausage here, and a fried okra, and what is this? Burnett. Burnett. Banana pudding. Beans, banana pudding, and all set to go, man. Okay, we're gonna go and eat our way through all these items. Tell you guys how the Pecan Lodge rank, supposedly the number one barbecue restaurant in Dallas. That's a hefty Burnett, okay. That's like a burn. Holy moly, that's a, that's a, like a chunky Burnett right here, man. This is a half your face right here. Half your face burn. <laughs> yes. Cheers. All right, what do you think? That's pretty dang good. That's pretty dang good, right? Smoky. Smoky. Fat. Fat. Rendered really well. Tender. Tender. Good flavor. This is good. The amount of saltiness is good. Yeah. Excellent. Very, very good burn-in. Okay, that's definitely a good burn-in right here. It's gigantic. It's gigantic burn-in, yeah. Give you have an idea how big is it? Like here's a spoon. And you can see how big this burn-in is. All right, tell me how it goes. It's right there. Thumbs up. I can tell. Man, that thing is juicy. All right, sausage is spot on. Very juicy, very moist, very oily. The jalapeno in there, really great. The casing has a nice snap to it, so definitely a thumbs up right here. Good jalapeno sausage. Okay, let's try the sauce and put some here. Just a thicker, thicker sauce, right? We have one that looks like a vinegary sauce. Okay, this is the vinegary one. Okay, let's try the vinegary one. Dip a little bit of pork in it. We have vinegary sauce. A little sweet and then it gets a little heat on the back end. Good? You like it? I like it. Okay, try this one next. Put it, put it in traditional sauce. I can put my vote with the vinegary one. Vinegar? Okay, both goes with the vinegar sauce. How about you? I, I like the vinegar better. Fry okra. Good. Fry okra, crunchy, not too thick on the breading. So fried okra is an acquired taste. Not everybody likes fried okra, but it really works well in this particular setting. Let's try this rib here. All right, you take one bite, and I'll take the other bite. Very tender. I can use a little more salt. To be honest, the saltiness of it, lacking a little bit. Very good. Look at it. Look at that gorgeous smoke ring here. Absolutely gorgeous smoke ring. It's pretty. Really good smoke ring. You see, uh, that was a good read. Spot on. Super tender, just a light touch of smoke, and like you said, they could use a little bit more saltiness. Yeah. You got a perfect amount of pepper. Uh, I like a peppery grip, so definitely top notch rib. Mac and cheese, let's bacon go to mac and cheese. Top. Bacon, bacon bits on top, bacon bits on top. Yeah. Uh, thumbs up. Is it cheesy? It's cheesy. Cheesy, not too liquidy. Not runny cheesy. Got a little crunch of the bacon. The bacon uh, has a good texture. Yeah. Cheese is not runny at all. Good flavor. And it looks taste like real cheese. Yeah. It's yeah. not that, that pasteurized cheese. It's no. real cheese. No, it's, it's melted cheese. Melted sure. cheese. Very good. All right, last one is the brisket. We're saving the big daddy here. Big right? daddy here. Is that a point? Or the fatty? They gave us both. They gave us a fatty. Yeah. Now look at it. Look at the juices. No, oh, it's terrible. Don't, <laughs> don't, eat, don't, 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 don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat any of that, Harry. Like beautiful Texas style bark. You can see how dark and bark is here. Let's say we focused here. Super moist. All right, we're moving on to dessert. Got a little banana pudding here. It's got an Ela wafer. Up. 
Thumbs up. Nice way to top off a uh, fantastic a meal. Meaty, yeah, meaty we, uh, meal. We had a really good meal. Everything is gone. Banana pudding alert. Nice and light. Good banana flavor, a little vanilla in there, melting around the brisket inside of me right now. <laughs> Be happy brisket day. That's good. We also have humble wheat cookie, peanut butter, chocolate, coconut, pretzel pieces. What is it? Excellent. Thumbs up. Great meal. Excellent. Success. Good cookie with some nuts, some uh, coconut. Pretty good. Excellent. Thumbs up. Great meal. Excellent. No chop. No chop. No chop. Okay. Four ribs, one original, one jalapeno, half pound of uh, brisket, half pound of turkey. Dinner time. Dinner time. Let's go over everything we eat. How did you like the uh, sausage? All right, so we had the original, this one, and the jalapeno. Yeah, jalapeno, very good. Nice kick to it. Original, it's okay. Okay, all right. Not, not, not as big of a fan, but the, the jalapeno, two thumbs up. All right, what do you think of the uh, pork rib? I think the pork rib was probably our best overall protein tonight. You know, it's kind of a simple salt, pepper, crust on it. Kind of here a little bit late, so I think we got some of the, <laughs> the, the end products here tonight. I've been here in the past, and I've always thought the ribs here have been outstanding, but tonight they were good, but not great, great. And then what about the turkey? Turkey was a little dry. Yeah, a little dry, right? A little dry. Right here. There's not, it's not much. It's been sitting yeah. out too long. Been, yeah. Okay, been so, out. Okay, pass. Brisket? A little mix on the brisket. Yeah. The uh, flat was a little bit dry tonight. The point was on, on, on par. It was uh, spot on. It was good. Nice moisture. That nice fat you get. Point. So one thumb up and one thumb to the side. <laughs> All right, what about the sauce? What do you think for the sauce? I'm not a huge fan of the sauce. A little sweet for me. A little sweet. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then the size was so so. Size right, was so so. Uh, so, so. We had yeah, a mac and cheese. What is the love heart slaw? And the beans. Beans. Yeah. So so. And of course, you gotta have a big red when you're here in Texas. Oh, okay, Texas. Big Cheers. red drink. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a fan of the uh, the pickled uh, red onion. Oh, pickled red onion, good, good stuff. Yeah, good eating, right? Good red onion, right here. It's got a nice acidity. They're still crisp. They're out. They're outstanding. Makes a good turkey sandwich. <laughs> All right, let me see. One more time. Open it up. Got some of the red onions. Got some pickles. Got some jalapenos. Okay. All right. All right. Good stuff.